Hi guys, Grace here. First off, I would like to apologize for my voice. I have a cold this week, so I sound a little hoarse, but um, I'm here to share with you a little scrapbook.com haul that I have. It actually came on National Scrapbooking Day, which was so exciting because then I have some new stuff. I was trying to use up some of them, but um, it just didn't work out with the layouts that I had planned to do that day. Anyways, let's dive in. So first thing is, oh, first thing I wanna let you know is the reason why I, well, I like scrapbook.com with um, the variety of things that they sell there, but at the same time, I really go there for the challenges. And lucky for me, I was able to win one of the challenges and I got a gift card from scrapbook.com and that made me, or that kind of pushed me to the edge in um, making this purchase. Um, with that being said, if I have money and if um, they have what I need, I most definitely will go there for future purchases. Anyways, let's go back to um, the haul. This first one is a flare badge from Project Life. I don't have a lot of flare badges, and so I, whenever I see one that's on sale, I think this was like 30% off or maybe 20% off, um, and I love the sayings of this, and so I got that one, and I think this came out to about $3.50 or $4.00. The second one is a paper smooches die, and it's just a bunch of hearts. And I love how there's different um, sizes of hearts and also the, the thickness of it. It's really cute. And this is from Paper Smooches. I, it was on sale, and so I got it for about $5. And then you know my love for the Loopy Loo style of lettering um, from Doodlebug. I have the white one and the black one, and... Oh no, the white one and the brown one, and you've seen me use it a lot on my pages. And I just got the blue one because that's what they had. And I believe this came out to about $1.50 for the sheet. And then I got a bunch of papers. Um, some of it are on the clearance section and some just, they were just on sale. Um, the first one is Boy's Rule. This is from Echo Park. I love the cut apart sheets on this one and the color scheme. And then it has this side. I'm definitely going to use the cut apart because I can um, spread it around more on my pages. And then this other one is from Jen Hadfield Homemade um, Everyday Collection from Pebbles, I believe. It just says Jen Hadfield. I thought she was from Pebbles. Oh, it is Pebbles. Okay, so I love the triangles on this one. Um, the wood grain is great for backgrounds, but I really love the blue background. This one is Jelly Bean Soup. It's called Saffron Yellow Pepper Soup. And um, I love the cut apart sheet on this. I got a lot of cut apart sheets on this um, order. And I just love the versatility of them. So that's what I got. And then I got a sticker sheet from um, Echo Park. It says Birthday Wishes. I love the color of the letter stickers. And then, of course, birthday. You can never go wrong with birthday theme because I have three kids plus me and my husband. So we always have a birthday page to create. Or I already always have a birthday page to create. This one's from Allison Craft. Um, I believe this is Webster's Pages. I love the yellow, but, of course, I got this for the cut-apart sheet. This one, um, I'm thinking I can use as a stencil for like some kind of uh, string art but we'll see i love the colors on this one and then this one's from echo park it says anything goes the cupcakes are really cute um, and this b-side is also a nice background and then another anything goes paper from echo park and of course the cut apart sheets are very handy and then this blue side is also pretty it's a diagonal one and then from Bella Boulevard, we have, what is this one? Molly, and it has the stars. And then on the other side, it has the anchors. I love the stars. I love this one because this can be a great base for a homemade um, scrapbook kit because it has different colors that you can pull, um, you can pull from to coordinate with your other items in your homemade scrapbook stash. I might use this for my next homemade scrapbook kit. We might, uh, we will see. Okay, this one's from Fancy Pants. It's Meology. It has a green dot and then this really very cool uh, chevron look on the other side. And then we have Doodlebug Friendly Forest. And then the back side is brown. 
and then Capture Life by Allison Kraft um, from Echo Park. Now these, this one um, I got because they were on clearance for like 39 cents. So I got two of them so I can use the arrows and then I could also use the orange side. Or I can use them for a double pinch spread. So that's what I got. And then the last paper is Happy Camper from Doodlebug. Again, it has the browns. I don't have a lot of brown uh, pattern paper so I went with that. But then I also like this paper because then they could be a good base for a homemade scrapbook kit. Uh, as well. So that is my little very quick uh, haul from scrapbook.com. Thank you so much for watching and as always if you like this video and any of my videos please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can know that you would like to see more videos from me and also please subscribe so you can um, know the next video that comes out for me as soon as it hits YouTube. Um, I will see you when I see you. Bye guys!